guys welcome back to the channel as usual i am your host selassie if you and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, a camel dean suleiman a person of interest uh, for juventus we'll be looking at the story the validity in it and if kamal dean that will be a best use for him it's been confirmed however that kamal dean will play for the ghana under 23 side at the under 23 afcon the coach has uh, explained as much we also going to talk about harry glamty and the charity work he has been doing since arriving in the country at the start of the week he came in and had an interview he talked about a couple of things and why he chose to play for ghana he's continued his charity work will highlight uh, some of the charity work he's been doing so far and uh, the donations he has made as usual subscribe if you have not click on the notification bell to get more updates Sahara football merch links are in the description be sure to purchase our merch it goes a long way to help the channel achieve a lot of what it wants to do and bring you more content we'll jump right into it and we'll start off from the camp of Kamal Dean Suleiman the Ghanaian who ended the season on a high scoring a brace for his club side in Southampton despite being relegated has become a person of interest for guess who Juventus and uh, now the story reads uh, that uh, the Ghana International has come to the light transfer target of Serie A Giants Juventus now according to La Gazzetta dello Sport uh, the old lady uh, will be in the market for affordable players in the summer transfer window the Italian outlet notes that the Black Stars Taka is one of the players who will be looked at by Juventus Kamaldin parted ways with Stad Ren in the January transfer window in search of regular playing time. He signed for Southampton. Unfortunately, they were in a relegation dogfight. His efforts, however, did not help his team. At least it was too late by the time he scored a brace in the final match day. Although he would play well for the team, the Saints could not escape relegation. He backed a sensational brace in the four Oral thriller versus Liverpool. He already has stressed that, that he's open to staying with Southampton uh, to help the team fight for a return to the English Premier League next season. He also noted uh, that he will explore signing uh, for a new club if the opportunity presents itself. So basically, he is open to anything and uh, he's hoping uh, that uh, he'd get a good deal. The Juventus, the team that he should join. It is top flight football, but you have to admit that uh, uh, probably playing in the championship might not be the best for him right now. A talent like that uh, deserves to be in the big time, in my opinion. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. What do you think about this Juventus move? Is he a great one for Kamal Dean Suleimana? Will he be best suited for the Italian Serie A? Should he stay put and help uh, Southampton uh, to come back into the big time? Let me know what you think in the comments box. Uh, that being said, the Ghana Under-23 team that is going to play in the Under-23 AFCON, it has uh, been emphasized that Kamal Dean Suleimana will be in the team. Uh, despite being named in coach Chris Hutton's squad, it has been said uh, by the coach uh, that uh, Kamal Dean Suleimana will be with the Ghana national team, the Under-23 side, the Black Meteors, as they prepare for that tournament. Southampton forward is set to be given an invitation to the Black Meteors, uh, according uh, to Joy Sports. A 21-year-old had been mentioned as part of the Black Stars team, being considered uh, to help the Black Meteors as they chase a spot in next year's Olympic Games in Paris. Ghana will be hoping to book a slot when they participate in the Under 23 Afcon to be staged in Morocco next month, between June 24th. It's actually this month and july 8th the final decision has been made and uh, it's about the former star ren winger with ibrahim tanku set to call him up for the continental showpiece kamal dean and Eneswama will join the black meteor squad at the 2023 african cup of nations the pair were named in christian squad for the upcoming games on may 30th noama has been a part of the black meteor squad that secured qualification to the AFCON. So Kamal Dean will be with the team as uh, they prepare. And despite reports indicating that he has been called up, which is confirmed, it's going to be him in the under 23 AFCON. Ghana Black Stars man Patrick Pfeiffer, who has not yet ended called up 
into the Ghana national team yet has made a move to Augsburg. He signs for them until the summer of 2027. The Ghana international has officially joined Bundesliga outfits after helping them start get back into Bundesliga 1. Central defender signs a four-year deal with the club uh, which will see him which will see his contract come to an end in June 2027. A Pfeiffer was instrumental to Darmstadt's promotion to the German top flight as they ended the 22-23 season in Bundesliga 2. 23-year-old scored four goals and provided an assist in 24 appearances in the league as his side secured automatic promotion. However, the defender won't play in the Bundesliga with a newly promoted side as he has joined Augsburg following the expiration of his contract. The club confirmed the signing of the Ghanaian on the official social media handles announcing he was he has put pen to paper until 2027. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the last four years and especially for the incredible support during the time he wrote on his Instagram page. Pfeiffer led Darmstadt in 40 interceptions and finished as the third top scorer in the just ended season. Four goals. Interesting. Patrick Pfeiffer, who has not yet featured for the Black Stars at this time around. Hopefully, he does get the chance in the near future. My final story has to do with Tariq Lamte and uh, his donations he has made to through his foundation. He donated football kits and equipment to schools in Asaman Kesi, the Black Stars defender, together with his charity institution, Tariq Lamte Foundation, on Tuesday, were in Asaman Kesi to make a donation to two schools as part of the annual activity. The donation is part of this year's Tariq Lamte's charity works in Ghana, which he started five years ago during his time at Chelsea. The Brighton and Hove Albion stars is in Ghana as part of his short holidays before starting preseason ahead of the 23-24 season. The trip to Asamankese was to support the immense talent in the town and show appreciation for the continuous support from Ghanaians. Among the items donated were football equipment as well as Brighton's home and away kits to two schools in the town, Freedom Methodist School and Wesley Methodist School. Before the donation, was a ceremonial match between the two division three sides teams in the area young kotoko football club playing alongside nana Kodier football club so tariq lamte doing his charity work enjoying his time in ghana uh, congratulations to him we say a big thank you so that has been it for today kamal dean suleiman a person of interest for juventus should he make the move he will be with the under 23 side despite being named in coach chris Hutton's side and also uh, Tariq Lamte and his charity work, a move uh, for Patrick Pfeiffer to Oxford. Happy new month. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the month.